Hello, fellow SecOps. Are we having fun yet? Okay, log 4J. We're all into it now. I'm not here with any magic, unfortunately, but I did want to share some lessons learned, some future forward considerations. Has your brain turned to jelly yet? In these scenarios, arguably, time is our worst enemy. So you need to ask yourself, what can I do to be razor focused? How can I help prioritize? Well, it's back to the basics. It's nothing new. I think it starts with asset management. Huh? What? Knowing exactly what you have is uber critical. What OS? What app? What versions? Who owns the service? What data is associated with the asset? How valuable is that data? If you know most or all of these deets, you're in excellent shape to prioritize your efforts. Yes, you should take a risk-based approach. A risk-based approach can be grounded in the classic likelihood versus impact matrix. Is the service publicly available? Yes. <laughs> likelihood, 100%. What is the value of the data? High value? High impact. Oh yeah, internal services still need the attention. But I'll take internal only services over publicly available any day of the week. Just look at the bots and crackheads who are currently making Log4j threats look like typical background noise. As always, controls are necessary. A prudent firewall rule set, inbound and outbound, goes a long way. Deny all, only allow exceptions. Threat signatures? Sure. But it's a cat and mouse game. Segmentation? Yes please. Mitigations? Cool, but only with a view to patching. This brings us to patching cadence. Oh. A well-defined patching regimen is beyond helpful in these times. The process for approval, the mechanism to push updates, already defined? Life-changing! You can simply look to execute an emergency change request and fill in the blanks. Lastly, it's a long-haul game. Log4j isn't going anywhere soon. Don't burn out and set the proper expectations. Knock off that priority list and keep on trucking. Just know that there will be some unknown knowns. Log4j has already been confirmed to be a gateway for ransomware and crypto mining. So keep an eye on that outbound traffic. Look for beacons in command and control. Bonus points if you can develop a routine to check for indicators of compromise and circle back on all your systems. Hang in there folks. As always, make it better and move it forward.